Hey, what's going on, y'all? It is yours truly, the other Ray J, once again. You got to be red pill at your job. You got to treat it like an unfaithful female. So, yeah. Got to treat it that way because you, you give your all to a job that won't necessarily give their all to you. Not trying to get too detailed in things, but most men know what I'm talking about. Especially if you still don't have benefits at that job yet. And if you do have benefits, you're not getting much of those benefits. Beware of the jobs. Beware of the jobs that don't have unions. And if you do have a union, beware of the union that you're paying dues to at your job. Because when it's all said and done, there's no telling if they are there for you like you're there for them. Sounds like an unfaithful female, does it? You got to think that way. Uh, when you come to these gigs, you're not going there because you need their help. You have to go there with the mindset that they need your help. This also means having more than one job at your disposal, having more than one set of income besides just jobs. You can have multiple jobs too, but be cautious of that as long as it's not taken away from your time because time is everything. They say time is money. Well, money is time. Both go hand in hand. Uh, I'd say if you're on track of being an entrepreneur, before you think about getting your money right, get your time right. Make sure that you're making time for you to have R&R &R before you go back out there into the world, before you go back out there to deal with your family. Make time for you. That's going to make a big difference as to how you become a decent entrepreneur. Because you got these talks of people that have been like, I've done X, Y, and Z, and uh, they forget about <laughs> all between a uh all the letters after a b and c it's not just about grinding your butt off just to try to get started with starting your own business you got to also have time for you in between how are you relaxing how are you re-energizing yourself the same goes for the jobs too because you got to make time for you don't have all these different jobs and different things going on to where you're not having time for you. Now, this also ties into my point because you also put in a lot of hours for that one job, even if you don't have side hustles or multiple jobs or even if you're not trying to start a business. You, you're obviously putting your all somewhere. It's that job and that job is taking too much of your time. You have no time at home. You're doing all this for your job and you're barely getting paid. You barely have a check you barely are able to keep up with your bills. Let's say you do get paid well, and that's your only job. That's your career. You don't know if they're going to fire you tomorrow. You don't know if you're going to have a, a a place to clock in tomorrow. They could fire you. They could say, hey, well, the other Ray J, it's been cool doing business with you, but uh, you've been a valuable employee. But uh, unfortunately, we're going to have to let you go. <laughs> yeah now what the rents do the lights need to be paid for now you're about to get evicted your car's about to be repossessed your lights are about to be shut off in just a matter of time we're all actually just living one paycheck away from poverty heck no one's safe not even a five percent or not even a one percent or ten percent or fifteen percent no one's safe because we're all living by money the economy at any day, you know, your money could be gone. I don't care what they tell you. Your money is not safe no matter where you put it. The only thing that's safe is you and how you're dealing with your time in this life, how you're managing your time. Because that's what's going to save you. It's not the money. It's the time. It's what you're putting your time into. How you're dedicating being better and surviving better basically but that's for another video and you can do that without money by the way so but um my thing also is just wrapping things up 
you have to make sure that you are always on your B's and Q's with these jobs. Because at any moment, they could turn on you just like an unfaithful woman. You give your all, man. You, I mean, you do everything you can. You're devoted. You've been there for years. You got all these accolades. And just like that, they let you go the next day. I've seen it. Factory jobs, transportation jobs. It don't matter. It don't. It, hey, when they want to let you go, they're going to let you go. Just like these chicks, no matter how you've been there for them, no matter what you've done for them, oh, they'll let you go. And they'll, they'll hey, no fault on their part. It's your fault. Why are you trying to make yourself look like God, like as if without you, I couldn't be where I'm at? Like, um, basically, that's what it was. <laughs> the creator used me to put you where you need to be. So a lot can be said about that. It's like what Wale, it's like what Wale said in his song with Rick Ross. He said that you might go and find you someone, but you'll never find another. And it's just like that. Trust me, bro, when she leaves you, she ain't found another one like you. And they ain't even better than you. They they ain't go put out like you did. And of course that falls into the line of where you don't end up a simp helping out a thought. <sighs> that's another story too but the thing is don't be that way with these jobs don't be a simp to these jobs don't give them all your time have other things going on just like you got to do with these thoughts have other things going on you ain't got time to be messing around with them you got other more important things to be dealing with and other more important people to be dealing with they have to make themselves worth your time if they're not doing that, you got no time to be dealing with them. Same thing with a job. They got to make themselves worth your time. Are they paying you well? Are they giving you decent benefits? <laughs> if, they're not doing any of, if they're not doing any of those things, are they at least being flexible with your hours? Not their hours, your hours. Is it to where you can be available for them? If not, you have no time. Same thing with a thought. Yeah, you got no time if they're not being flexible with your hours be on your terms with these jobs treat these jobs like thoughts because you're going to be simping even with these jobs you're giving your all to a job that will not give their all to you they're going to stop giving you advances huh they're going to stop with uh a lot of things they're going to stop with being available for you uh making time for your time they're not going to work on your schedule. It's going to be like, uh, yeah, you come to work. You've got to be here on this day or else uh, we don't have time. Uh, this is our schedule. You have to comply or else this may not be the job for you when really it's the other way around. Without you, they're not in business. It only takes the right amount of people to make sure that, you know, without us, you are not going to be able to survive as a company. Why are we giving you our decent time and quality of labor and you are not doing the same for us? See, this is the whole idea that uh, as I've watched Dane Calloway on his videos point out that, yo, employment is the new form of slavery. The only way you set your se the only way you set yourself free from that employment or modern day slavery is don't give them all your time. Don't let them enslave you like that because guess what happens when they don't have work and it gets slow you fall short on your bills now you have to worry about being evicted or your stuff being repossessed or your lights going out don't ever let someone make you feel like you're at their mercy if you trust in the creator like i do the most high yah then those things you never have to worry about even when it seems like those things are happening. Because you can't be moved by what you see, walk by faith, not by sight. The creator is making a way when there is no way. And that's one of my favorite quotes from Bruce Lee, by the way. He said, use no way as way, having no limitation as limitation. Yeah, treat these jobs. You got you to gotta be red pill at these jobs. You cannot be limited by their limitations, just like with a thought. You're not going to be limited by her limitations because she's not devoted to you like you're devoted to her just from a natural standpoint. That job is not devoted to you 
like you're devoted to that job from a natural standpoint. Men are born as builders and providers. Once we realize someone doesn't appreciate you as that provider, you make them an outsider, whether it's a job or a thought. Now, you got to give them the famous Donald Trump saying, you're fired. No, don't let a job tell you that. You tell them that. If they're not putting out like you've been putting out, you tell that job, you're fired. I relinquish my employment, and I do not want to do any more business with you. I'm taking care of your family, but you're not taking care of mine. That's not going to work. Just like with a thought, I'm looking out for you, but you're not looking out for me. This is not going to work. See, that job becomes equivalent to a thought. What do you call an employer that's equivalent to a thought? Well, I don't know. I'll leave that up for y'all to decide. Let me know what y'all would label a job that's not faithful to you. What, what would you call it? Comment below. Signing out.